Aberrant Action is definitely a sidearm that you'll want to sign on and grind for. The new Act of Echoes just launched and with it two new weapons were added to the loop pool at the helm, Aberrant Action and Courage, which is a heavy burst pulse rifle. The jury is out on the god roll for Courage, but Perpetual Motion and either Volt Shot or Frenzy seem to be the most wish-listed role on Destiny Item Manager and I'd have to agree. But the real star of the show is Aberrant Action, which is a weapon you'll want to get with Heal Clip and Incon Incandescent. Heal Clip will heal you after a kill, and Incandescent will apply the Solar Effect Scorch to nearby enemies. And in practice, this sidearm slaps. If you're just signing back on to take on the first week of Act 2 for Echoes, here's everything you need to do to get your shiny new weapons ASAP. Unfortunately, Bungie has decided to time gate weapon focusing for these two pieces of gear, but the new activities are giving a ton of loot, and I have a few tips that might help you get the option to craft these a bit faster. First things first, head on over to Ikora in the tower. This will begin Echoes Act 2, a distant reply, by kicking things off with a little cutscene about the conductor. Now you're off to Battleground Delve on Nessus. Think of the new Battlegrounds more like strikes with a ton of loot at the end. Seriously, just in the first day, I have had several exotic drops and I was able to unlock patterns for most of the weapons that still needed a red border piece of gear to unlock it. And if you're able to, be sure you at least put on a class item for a 30% XP boost with the vendor. As you're progressing through Delve, be absolutely sure to pick up every piece of Radiolaria you find because if you do, you'll get a ton more drops at the end. Or maybe turn them in at the helm where you get a slight bonus to rewards. Now, there are two hammer locations. The first, after completing the opening section, you will jump into the pit and teleport through the teleporter, move to the left, and smash the first hammer in this battleground to spawn a ton of radial area you want. The first hammer is pretty hard to miss. The radial area does take a second, so just let it spawn in and grab it all up. It will be clearly marked on your map. After finishing the next section and dropping through the portal under the floor, follow the pathway until you see this oval opening you can drop down. If you head to the far left, you'll find the second hammer charge, which, you guessed it, spawns a bunch more radial area. Pick it all up and be sure to dunk it either at the end of the mission if you're impatient and just want all your loot ASAP, or just a little tip, you can also turn this in at the helm, where rewards are somewhat increased, meaning you may get an extra drop or two. A Rising Chorus Act 2 has you run the mission again and pick up 7 Radiolaria, but before you do, head to the helm and chat with Failsafe to begin your Act 2 quest with this vendor. You may notice that two new weapons are not on the focus decoding screen. Well, that's why I recommend you stop here. But to advance a Rising Chorus, simply jump back into the Delve Battleground and pick up the Radiolaria again. It seems that the Vex Code mutations drop as you grab them. You could jump back to the helm at this point, or you could finish the mission and be a team player. Hey, you're almost done anyway, so why not get a few more drops while you're grinding? Once that part's done, you can chat with Failsafe, and the vendor will give you an upgraded Radiolite sampler, allowing you to hold 1,000 grams of Radiolarite. I'm going to assume it's grams. But more importantly, this is how you get the Specimen NES-004 quest. Now at this point, you should have two quests. So real quick, Distant Reply has you run Battleground Conduit on Nessus, and then you're done. The first hammer on Conduit is just after your first battle, where you're trying to get through this big circular door. The second hammer is just before the final boss as you do a little platforming to get there. Both of these are very hard to miss as they pop up on your radar and are directly in your path. So run conduit, go back to the helm, and that's kind of it for this week. Now here are the Specimen NES-004 quest steps. Step 1, open chess. I found that this was completed fastest by just doing the arena breach executable activity, but any seasonal activity with a chest at the end should suffice. Step 2, echo gear focused. Just spend engrams one at a time at failsafe to unlock a few armor pieces. Armor focusing only costs one engram, so it's the cheapest way to complete this and you'll want your other engrams for later. Step 3. Secure extracted data in the breach executable activity and fight your way through Echo's battlegrounds. It seems to indicate that you need to do both, but this was completed for me after running a single battleground Echo's mission. Step 4. Pick up your reward. Step 5. Put your reward in the display case. Now that's everything for week 1 of Echo's Act 2, and you definitely need to get this sidearm ASAP. 
it's giving the call and even indebted kindness a run for its money. Now, if you have a bunch of extra engrams, the best method to get both of these converted to red border patterns is to just decode your echo engrams one at a time. You may be able to focus decode after week two, but if you just have to have the pattern now, this is probably your best bet at this time. And that's this week in Destiny 2. If you still haven't gotten Kvostov, we have a walkthrough for that. And let me know if you like these tips. For more on all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN.